Yes, but do you recall uh, in the latest Korkia with Labour leader Sakir Starmer, we spoke a couple of weeks ago, uh, and he talked about uh, some of his frustrations during what's called PMQs, Prime Minister's Questions, which is a feature of the parliamentary scene on a Wednesday. What the Prime Minister does, uh, for all listeners, just watch out for this this week. Um, at Prime Minister's Questions, we have six questions. Um, and on the sixth question, Boris Johnson descends into insulting me. The reason he does it on the sixth question is because it's the only question I can't get back up again um, and answer him. So watch out for that this week. Let me pass you my private number. You're always welcome to come in on a Thursday morning. You can have it every, every yes, week. Yes, I suppose I could do the yeah, seventh. Absolutely. On here. That's a, yeah. Come on here. do that. We've got a deal. You heard it here first. And we have. And you'll hear Sakir in a moment. So let's go to the sixth and final question in exchange and listen out. Does Boris, as Sakir suggests, does he try and change tack and get a little bit up close and personal? This is what took place yesterday. I'm asking about the support that's needed now, particularly in light of the restrictions announced yesterday. Mr Speaker, this is not theoretical. Yesterday, 6,000 jobs were lost at Whitbread, one of the major employers in the hospitality sector. The CBI the TUC and trade unions, the Federation of Small Businesses, the British Chamber of Commerce, the Governor of the Bank of England, they're all calling on the Prime Minister to stop and rethink, support the businesses affected, don't withdraw furlough. We've been saying it for months. When is the Prime Minister finally going to act? Mr. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, these are indeed tough times, and I have no doubt that many businesses, many employees are feeling a great deal of anxiety and uncertainty, and we will do our level best uh, to protect them throughout this period. But we will get through this, Mr Speaker, by precisely the methods that we have outlined and that were agreed upon in this House yesterday. And I, I may say, I think that the, uh, the, 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 what the reality of the, of the opposition position has been exposed. The cat's out of the bag, uh, Mr Speaker, because it was his shadow education secretary who said uh, of the, of said of the present uh, crisis, she said, don't let a good crisis go to waste. That's, that's the real approach of the Labour Party, Mr Speaker, seeking, seeking to create political opportunity out of a crisis, out of the difficulties and dangers this country is going through, whilst we are taking the tough decisions. The tough decisions to get this virus down, Mr Speaker, to keep our education system going and to keep our economy moving. He supported it yesterday. I hope he will, in a spirit of togetherness and unity, that he will continue to give it his support. Yeah. You can judge for yourself whether Boris Johnson did go down the personal line, but here's what's a uh, and this one's recorded. We hope occasionally we do it live, but he's busy this morning, which I quite understand, so it's recorded exclusively for LBC. This is what would have happened, so let me call Sir Keir Starmer. Prime Minister, please answer the question. What is your plan B for the economy? Because it makes no sense to bring in new restrictions at the same time as phasing out support for businesses and for jobs. Please answer, because people's jobs depend on this. Sir Keir Starmer, exclusive there. Seven.